Are you thinking about becoming a radiologic technologist, but you're not sure how to go back to school if you're a single parent, if you've moved out and you've got debt, you've got a car note, and you need to work? So be sure to stay to the end. I've got a little surprise for you of how I was able to do it. I'm going to talk about that in this upcoming video. Hey, everyone. I am just getting ready to change and start painting my studio office. So it's been a little day with me as I tell this story of how I went from driving FedEx trucks to taking MRIs, CT scans, and diagnostic x-rays and becoming a registered radiology technologist. It's a really quick story, but one that you may find very interesting. If you are starting back over, you're a single parent, single mom, wanting to start a new career, uh, that's where I was at. I was driving trucks. Yes, I have a CDL. I have a cosmetology license. I had a real estate license. And radiologic technology came into my life and I became a registered radiologic technologist. But first, I was driving trucks, yes. So if you have ever driven a tractor trailer, have a CDL, let me know in the comments because I need to know who out there has a CDL and has driven trucks. It was a very good company, but I wind up driving trucks because I was living in another state, was getting ready to start the radiology program and fell ill. I had to move back home. Who has ever had to start back over? It was very humbling, but I was excited because it meant a fresh new start. I'm gonna change because I don't think the lighting is good. Let's, let's change this up. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see behind me, the walls need to be painted. So your girl's gotta start painting, but I want to give some inspiration to those of you out there that want to go back to school and you're not sure of how to do it or if you can do it. I felt ill and had to move back home, start over, sell everything, move back into my old bedroom. Yes, I moved back home to my mommy no shame in my game at all. It gave me the focus and the drive to not dilly dally around and play around in school. I knew this was my only shot. And the way I looked at it was, it was a two year program. Yes, I got an associate's degree. At that time, there weren't any bachelor's programs, not many out there. There were a few, but not many. And my program did have an extension to it where I could have continued, but it was only a uh, education direction. And I knew I did not want to go and get a degree that would just minimize my growth and having a bachelor's in education. I knew that wasn't the direction I wanted to go in in the field. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in radiology. I didn't know much about it. And that's why I created this page and social media, a couple of Rad Text podcasts to explain to everyone, it's okay that you're in radiology. You don't really know what you want to do. I didn't either. Many of us didn't. We're starting over becoming radiologic technologist, but there are so many options to it. And driving a truck was my option. So I drove trucks when I moved back home because I had to reapply to programs in the new state that I was in. And I had to live in that state for a year because before I could get federal aid as an in-state tuition. Otherwise I would have been paying out of state tuition. And I had missed the deadline and I was broke. So I decided, let me work and drive trucks make as much money as I can make using my CDL, working for this company. And I was paid really well to live at home. My mom didn't require me to pay anything. She wanted me to go back to school and not have any stress on me. But coming from living on my own, I was like, I got to pay my fair share. And when I lived at home before, I paid rent to my mom. She required that we pay her a certain amount of money, but my mom wouldn't take it. And she just wanted me to focus. So that first year I drove trucks and I just saved my money. I had my car payment amount saved up for that first year when I went to school. So my car was paid. Uh, I had my car payment saved in a savings account. So each month that money was paid to my car note while I was in school that first year, not able to work. Uh, and then I just had a richest credit card. I don't know if you guys remember riches, but I had a richest credit card and I make sure that was paid off. And that was the only credit card I had. I did not have debt, just that car note. And I paid my insurance up for the entire year that I was in school. I worked and paid for um, so I could go to school the first year and not have to work uh, and be able to just focus on school. So I didn't get below a C and have to be kicked out of the program. That was not an option for me. I didn't have a C plan. This is already my B plan. 
I couldn't mess around. So if any of you out there can relate to that, I hope that this is encouraging to you, that it's okay to start over. It's okay to move back home if you have someone that is going to support you. It's okay to struggle to go back to school. And it's okay. Many people are like, are you going to start over? And a lot of my friends already either had jobs, full-time jobs, careers. They lived on their own. And here I am moving back home. You got to block out everybody else. And you've got to focus in on what it is that works best for you and zone in and go for it. And it paid off. I have a way to take care of myself. Um, and then I wanted to get married my second year, which, <laughs> um, yeah, we were still broke. Uh, but I finished. And then my husband went back after that. And now we both work in radiology and are registered radiologic technologist. And it has been able to provide for us to be able to pay for our needs and give us secure work throughout our 23 years of throughout our life of being married. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments, you guys. I'll be making more videos. Sorry, it's not all edited so fancy, but I just wanted to come on here and share what it's like to become a radiologic technologist, some of the struggles that you may have to go through, some of the sacrifices that you may have to uh, give, but it's okay because in the end, it all works out. Stay zoned in. What other questions do you have about making it through radiologic technology school?